Hello everyone and welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. In today's video we are going to see that how we can make a tunnel and set it up between our server which could be in a remote location and our local PC. Think of a tunnel this way when uh, we access a server via SSH client or access it through our pre-installed RDP program on our Windows PC. What's happening now is you are accessing your server through your internet network connected to your local computer that means your router or your modem's IP address communicates with your server IP the internet you have uh, through which you might be uh, watching this video right now if we send a ping request after logging into our server it goes from our server and or if we do some work in the Windows RDP it happens through the RDP's IP but the server or RDP providers knows your local IP address through which you are accessing your internet. To increase anonymity a bit more or to create a buffer between sending requests, we pretend that our send request goes through a proxy to the server and from the server to the end user. You can also think of it as this way like you want to send a present to a special uh, friend or relative of yours on their birthday. but wanting to keep it as a secret that the gift is from you because you're planning a surprise in this scenario the option of personally going to their house with the present is straight away eliminated you might plan to send the gift to a friend but then you think maybe the person receiving the gift has seen that friend uh, with me before it's possible because it's your special friend or relative since the birthday person is your close friend or relative so that's a possibility they know your friends too in such a case you will find another way you give the parcel to your friend and ask them to give it to the one of your friends whom you don't know as well and ask him ask your friend to deliver this parcel to the special friend or relative of yours and don't say anything except happy birthday even if he or she asks who sends it tell them not to mention that it's from your side so what happened there is the person who goes to the, uh, deliver the birthday present is a friend of your friend neither you know them nor do they uh, know them the birthday girl or boy in this way a layer is created i know the example is might seems not exactly relevant but i hope at least helps you to understand the tunnel we are about to create in this video for this uh, we need two things the server and the proxy you can even turn your local computer into your server if you want. I have already made a video on this uh, for Windows and if you ask, I will make one for Linux too. But right now this system I am currently using is not a Linux based server computer. It's my local computer. So I will buy a server from a digital ocean just to show you practically how the things actually gonna work via SSH. So let me uh, fastly create a droplet. I'll choose any location because it's going to change later anyway. Image I am selecting Alma Linux 8. For the configuration, I'll do whatever uh, I want since there is no minimum prerequisites for this. So I am selecting this 2 GB uh, RAM, one core. I have created a strong password. Now let me copy this in a safer place. Now create droplet. And by the way, if you want to try this on your server computer and create a proxy tunnel on your server computer with the purpose of making your server's computer request going through a proxy to the end user so that's the server becomes anonymous then definitely check the description of this video you can get a server worth 500 to 600 dollars for free because DigitalOcean will give you 200 dollar server credit just after signing up if you go through my affiliate link they'll also give me something uh, and every link is an affiliate link of mine which 
might get me some commission so it's a win-win situation for both of us data lotion will give you 200 dollars volta will give you 250 dollars linode will give you 100 dollars and contabo can give you already a cheaper and good server at a more lower prices if you go through my affiliate link a droplet has been created now if we talk about the proxies i am using ip blankets uh, proxy data center proxy although ip burger is uh, currently number one in the market in the field of proxies i'll consider this as number two but you can get a good data center proxies also here good in the sense clean ips uh, let me show you what clean ip means if we copy this ip and if we go to this website and if we click blacklist check so you can see it's absolutely a clean IP if we rely on server IP and if we check the score of this IP so you can see how badly it's blacklisted and nowadays you see there are not many server providers in the market that offer such clean IPs I have made many videos of SMTP on my channel people from all over the world message me asking where to get the servers with the clean IPs because their emails were not going to be inbox if any of you watching this video also had this question I'll tell you about servers some other day but for now with this technique no matter from uh, where you got the server how much is the IP score by buying the IPs like this you can configure them in your SMTP and send emails your emails will directly find their way to the inboxes if you want to know more in detail let me know and I'll make a dedicated video on this topic but for now let me return to the topic of this video IP burger also offers the uh, clean IPs if we check the score You can see it's also a clean IP but they don't have a data center proxies at the moment I had taken a dedicated proxy thinking as a data center proxy from them hoping it would work but actually it did not in my case so for this task uh, you need a data center IP set that comes with both IPv4 and IPv6 along with the both HTTP and SOX5 protocols I know you will buy the server uh, I'll shown many times in my videos how to purchase it but proxies might be a new concept uh, for you for some of you so I'll show you a bit about how to buy a proxy so you don't make any mistakes while buying the proxy let me open this website in a new tab for buying the IP to masking uh, the server with it please watch the steps carefully because even a small mistake can prevent the task from being uh, done correctly select data center IP here then in the IP version select IPv4 country you can choose any country of your choice uh, which are the available options protocol select HTTP authentication type select username and password and in quantity you can enter as uh, many proxy as you need here you can probably take hundred no thousand at a time uh, not more than thousand but for now we'll take one and you can choose the term here and click add to cart there it's asking for the uh, promo code 
uh, there is a new year offer when i purchased a uh, proxy let me try the code i i think that was the code new year 24 the promo code entered does not exist i hope i have entered the correct promo code let me check uh, in my invoice give me a minute the code was new year 2024 yes now it has applied the promo code is new year 2024 after that the next steps are quite simple uh, you need to click checkout and here you need to create your account and there are currently three payment methods you can pay through debit credit card bitcoin and bank transfer once your proxy purchase is complete the website will redirect you to the uh, dashboard like this And from here you need to click your uh, services click on your active service and here below you will find your proxy credentials the public IP with the port the username and password because we have chosen the authentication method as username and password so we'll use these credentials uh, to run some commands firstly we need to log into our server I will copy the server IP from here. Username is root and password I will copy from here. Now first as always we will upgrade our server prerequisite library. As I have mentioned several times before, it's always good practice to update pre-installed packages. now let's ping from our server once to check uh, ip of our request are being sent from for this uh, i'll run a command which can tell me my ip Currently the IP is uh, 16135195.20 uh, This IP, same server IP And it's obvious since we have not configured any external IP yet Anyway now uh, we have to run another command which is sudo nano nano command not found don't worry i'll give you all the commands in the description 
and if nano is not pre-installed in your case as well then we need to first install nano using this command now again we need to run the previous command now here we need to type now we need to find our proxy username uh, which is this we need to copy it from here paste it here put colon now we need to copy the proxy password right click to paste at the rate the proxy IP with port copy the complete thing HTTPS proxy copy the same thing press control x y and enter to save now reboot your server remote side unexpectedly closed network connection uh, connection yes because we have rebooted now after a minute we again need to log into our server username root now again we need to check the IP from where it's sending the ping request Now you can see it shows us the IP 87254111115 this IP 87254 means our proxy IP so it has wore a mask in the form of an IP address which we have configured from now onwards any request sent uh, by this server will go through this proxy IP and if you set it up the same thing on your local PC and access any remote location from your local PC it will access through this proxy this will further secure your privacy and provide you with a strong anonymous network so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one and yeah thank you so much for watching it till the end